can't believe this is happening, the friends. I hit a new low. Welcome to Coffee with Colette. Nicole Colette, that is. In this video, the friends, I want to share something that is happening right now. And it's kind of crazy. Before I share that with you, I want to explain a little bit about what led up to this. After the holidays, I was feeling like not myself. I was feeling sluggish. I had no motivation for working out or going for cardio, which is really not like me. I was also experiencing like dry skin, dry nails, dry hair, fatigue, kind of like stuck in my results too in my fitness and weight loss goals. I was having a lot of cravings for higher fat foods and also when I was going for cardio, I was like smelling people barbecuing outside. This sounds really weird, but I started getting cravings for the red meat, for the burgers that they were cooking. I thought, okay, let's look at my diet and see if there's something causing like all these things. I was also extremely bloated and my stomach was distended and really uncomfortable all the time. I had been doing a lower, um, a lower fat diet for a really long time and it had been working. I'd gotten really good results, but I realized it had served its purpose and you can't do one thing forever. And I thought, well, maybe I should try bumping up my fat intake and see if that helps solve any of my problems. Maybe I was starting to get like some sort of deficiency. So I made a couple of changes. I also, I had gained a few pounds over the holidays, which I was totally fine with because I allowed myself to enjoy treats over the holidays. It is the reason that I believe I have lost 130 pounds and kept it off for seven years because I allow myself to enjoy holidays and treats sometimes and so I thought okay why don't I try to lean out add a little fat see what happens I made a small change I went from a little over 1900 calories a day to 1800 calories is I wanted to do it slow so if you do it too fast it doesn't stay off in my experience it, it's just not sustainable so I did that and I added higher fat foods into my diet. I switched from lean turkey to lean ground beef to add some red meat as well because I thought, okay, it's weird. It's not like me to crave red meat. So I must, maybe my body needs it. So I added some of that in and I went from egg whites to whole eggs and fat free cheese to regular cheese, full fat cheese. And then from fat-free yogurt, Greek yogurt, to 2%. After a couple of weeks, I started seeing an improvement in my skin. It looked younger and like healthier, glowier. <laughs> I don't know if that's a word, but. And my hair started feeling way less dry. Usually it would be really staticky. I hadn't, haven't had static in weeks now. I just, I felt better. I had motivation to work out and do cardio again. My stomach was lean. It, I had never had a stomach this lean before. I felt like I was getting results. And January 1st, when I made the changes, I was 151 pounds. And six weeks later, February 12th, Saturday, I weighed myself and I was 141 pounds. I hit a new low. I have never been at that low weight before. After I lost the massive amount of weight, the 130 pounds, I was 145. But maybe I was 13 years old the last time I weighed 141 pounds. It's so crazy. Like, I never thought that I could get to a new low in weight in my entire life. Also, I did not think I could do it eating bacon. Um, which I also added to my diet, one slice of unsalted bacon every day. I've been eating bread, a couple teaspoons of unsalted butter, regular cheese, 2% Greek yogurt, I, I, and full fat eggs. And I was feeling so good and getting results. And I wanted to make this video to share it with you guys because even I sometimes forget and need the reminder that you don't have to deny yourself listen to your body. If there's something that you're craving, trust it. 
if if it's telling you you need higher fat foods or um, a certain type of food, listen to it, trust it. It's there to help you. Or if you just want something, I am proof and sassy, my husband Kyle, who has also lost 130 pounds, is proof that you can eat anything you want as long as you're eating in a calorie deficit and lose weight and get the result. If you do it slow, you're more likely to keep it off. I'm eating bacon, toast, butter, eggs for breakfast every day and I'm losing weight. I've lost 10 pounds in six weeks. I'm the smallest and leanest I've ever been. I wanna share that with anyone who's discouraged or thinks that they have to suffer on a diet or take away everything that they enjoy. You do not have to deny yourself. Build things in. If you enjoy something specific, build it into your calories. Or if you're not ready for calories, I did, Kyle and I did portion control in the very beginning of our weight loss journey because we weren't ready for calories yet. And it's only been the last couple of years that we've been doing calories. If you're wanting to do portion control, all we did was looked at the backs of packages and measured out serving sizes according to the nutrition labels. We did trial and error. If, you know, we ate a certain amount and if we lost weight at the end of the week, we kept going. And if we gained weight, then we pulled back a little of the food, just a little bit to go slow. And with calories, we've been doing the same thing, just pulling a little bit. If we're getting results, we stick to it. And if we're not, we'll pull back a little more. You know, I get questions all the time and I've been noticing a lot lately, people saying, okay, I, I'm ready. I wanna count calories, I calculated my calories, but I'm having a hard time. I love adult beverages. We get that one all the time. I don't wanna give it up, what do I do? If you're someone who enjoys that, or you enjoy something else, or you just want to enjoy your weekend and add a few things, or go out for dinner with your family, you can totally do that. Build it in. If you know you're somebody who on the weekend or after you work, you want to enjoy an adult beverage or you need a treat or something, build that into your daily calories. Look at the calories on the back of the serving label of what you want and build it into your day. And you can get results and enjoy your food and enjoy your life. This is not about suffering. There is a way to have fun and to lose weight and keep it off. I can't believe that I'm at a lower weight than I've ever been in my entire life. You can do it, the friends. We believe in you. Choose what you love. Eat in a calorie deficit, just a little bit at a time. You do not have to take away everything. You know, 50 calories, or instead of two slices of toast, have one. Instead of two plates of dinner, have one. Kyle and I, the first change we made was instead of drinking regular pop, we went to diet. That saved a lot of calories a day. Instead of a whole bag of chips for a snack every night, we switched to a bowl. Saving calories and it was sustainable because we did it a little at a time. So I hope that this helps you guys. And another thing is we get often asked like, I'm in my 50s, 60s, 70s even, is it too late? It's never too late. One day at a time, one step at a time. Love you, I hope this video is gonna help you guys. If you wanna know exactly what Kyle and I ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds, we have two weight loss guides, exact meal plans, exact portions, family friendly recipes, everything we used, it's all in there. The links are down below. We also have a brand new guilt-free cookbook. It's low calorie versions of all your favorite foods. So you get great tasting food without the guilt and extra calories. And if you wanna know the exact supplements that we take, um, the protein powder that we use, pre-workout, all that stuff, the link for that is down below. It's huddled, harder than last time, Greg Doucette's supplement line. Check it all out, it's in there. I love you, have a beautiful day. You got this. Do not give up. Love you, peace, have a great day. See ya in the next day. Coffee with Colette, out. Bye guys. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.